Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com and welcome to our Lightroom 6 training. Right now we're going to be talking about HDR, High Dynamic Range. In the past, we used to have to go into Photoshop or other applications. We would merge our HDR images together and bring them back into Lightroom as a TIFF where we could do all our adjustments and tone mapping. But now for the very first time, we can take our separate photographs, merge them all together and then do all the processing right here inside of Lightroom. So let's get started. So to me, one of the premier features of Lightroom 6 slash CC is the ability to do HDR processing entirely inside of Lightroom. Um, I've been doing HDR for quite a long time now, maybe over a decade. I was one of the first people to actually start doing HDR in photography. So let's have a look here and see what it is and how we do it in Lightroom. So if we look at this photograph here, this is typically what you get with a camera. And this, I shot this actually just last week out at Nelson Ghost Town. And this is the interior of a bus. And you can see, you know, there's a lot of uh, dark shadows there. And we're not really seeing the details clearly on the inside. And, uh, you know, the, where the sun's hitting here is perfectly exposed. And we're seeing pretty decent outside, but we're still losing some of the highlight detail out here. And this is because of the limited dynamic range of a camera. A camera can't see as much detail simultaneously in highlights and shadows as the human eye. So when I was here shooting this bus, this is not exactly what I saw. What I saw was the interior being brighter and also seen clearly outside. So let's have a look. So what I did here is I took another photograph where I overexposed by two stops. And this enabled me to bring out all the texture detail and everything on the inside. This is exactly how I saw it when I was there. However, the camera is not able to capture all the detail outside the window at the same time. So I took a third exposure. This time, I underexposed it by two stops and look at how perfectly all the highlight details captured in the door and outside the windows. And of course, it's just pitch black on the inside. So essentially what my eye saw was a combination of all three of these photographs. And that essentially is what HDR is. HDR stands for high dynamic range, and it's where you can bracket, which is what we've done here, the photographs, and then bring them together into one photograph that shows all the detail in the shadows and highlights simultaneously. So here we are, we're in survey view right now, and you can get there by hitting the N key. I'm gonna hit the G key right now. Uh, let me select in here and hit the G to go into the grid view. And we can see there's the three photographs there just sitting inside our little collection there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to merge these together into HDR. So we're going to go up under Photo. And then from Photo, what we're going to do is we're going to choose Photo Merge. And then we can choose HDR. And notice we get this little HDR Merge Preview is going to pop up. And this is just amazing. We can do all of this now without ever leaving Lightroom. Previously in the past, we had to go into Photoshop. And we could merge these photographs together into Photoshop, into a 32-bit file. And then we would save it out as a TIFF and then bring it back into Lightroom and do the processing. So here we go. Right now you can see this is showing all the detail everywhere. It almost looks unreal. And of course, you know, we have the ability to adjust this. But this is before we've even got started. What's happening here is we've got some different options. Auto Align is turned on. And you can see we don't really have too many problems here with the alignment but this is if you do handheld. And in this case, I was just leaning it against the uh, the windows there. But if you turn on auto align, you might see a little bit where it just kind of, yeah, you can just kind of see it around there. And a lot of the time, you know, the photos can be a little bit different. So the auto align will stack them up on top of each other so there's no overlap. Auto tone, if we turn it off, we get this. And all it's doing is just giving us a little bit of a starting point here. In fact, you know, if we want, we can just turn the auto tone off and we'll just go in and we'll do all this processing manually inside of Lightroom. So don't worry about what it looks right now. All the details all being captured there. We're just going to do processing to bring it out. The deghosting amount, we will change this if there's any movement. So this would be things like leaves blowing water and uh, perhaps cars or people going through the scene. And then they'll kind of appear kind of half of them will be there and half won't. And that's why they call it ghosting. And we can choose the deghosting amount where we'll actually take the information from other photographs and then over, superimpose it over those areas of ghosting to, uh, to hide them. It actually does a fairly decent job here. Now, if you've got some heavy deghosting you want to do, you might want to consider going into Photoshop and doing that. But anyway, we're just going to click Merge right now. And what it's going to do is it's going to merge these files together. 
And this is where it gets really interesting. So we've got the three photographs right now. And notice a fourth photograph is being created. And it's right here. If we click on this photograph, you'll notice it's a DNG. So what's happened right now is that Lightroom has created a brand new file. It's a DNG file, which is the HDR. It's still a 16-bit file, but it's a raw file. And it's what's known as floating point. So it gives it a lot more space inside that file for the information. So all the information from these photographs is contained in this one. So let's double click on this, bring it in. And in fact, why don't we jump into the develop module and have a look at adjusting it. And just before I do, let me just show you something. If I click one of the regular photographs here and then we do the exposure, you can see, you know, we can play around with this exposure. And you can see, ah, oh, there's some pretty good details in here. Notice though, the highlights don't get recovered. They just turn to gray. It doesn't bring back detail. And, you know, if we go in here, we can open up some of that detail there um, and notice how we just lose things. So I'm just going to double click. So this is going to go back to our file right now, the one that we moved together into the HDR and watch what happens. If I do exposure now, notice all that information that's been contained within that file. So these things are not blowing out, but detail is actually showing. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose how much detail do we want to see in the highlights so we can recover this and look at the amount we have. And then we can go into the shadows and we can open up those shadows. Maybe play around with the exposure a little bit, bring it up a bit more. There we go. And then just kind of tweak how we're going to recover it. Notice what we've got already. And that's just setting the shadows and highlights. Now let's give it a little contrast. We're going to hit our whites and blacks. So let's increase our whites a little bit to make it a little more realistic and pushing our blacks, give it a little bit of body. Now we can touch the clarity a little bit. Notice if we push the clarity, we get this very gritty kind of a look, but I'm, I don't want to go too gritty. I'm just going to go there. And so you can see what we've done now is essentially we've just been processing this right within Lightroom. You know, our white balance, all these different things will all work perfectly. So let's find an area of gray, maybe about there. And notice we can set our white balance, or we could set the white balance for outside if we want it. And it'll give us a much warmer photograph. So um, I'm actually going to set it for, just play around in here for a cooler photograph. I kind of like that effect. And maybe we just manually warm it up just a touch. So there we go. You can see there, this is our HDR done entirely inside of Lightroom. And, uh, you know, it's really quick and easy process to do right now. Thanks for watching. And don't forget, I've got a lot more resources for you on the Lightroom 6 launch site. So just click on the link here or underneath, head over to our launch site where I've got a bunch of information, tutorials and review of Lightroom 6 CC. So uh, check it out and I'll see you at the cafe.